Gwendolyn and today I'm going to be giving you the best tips about shaving your vagina and your booty okay because I know a lot of people as far as in this era they kind of do feel like dude I want a goal to get it professionally done but I want to try it at home I have did a video in the past where I talked about Nair and a lot of people told me that it helped them and it gave them a lot more confidence down there with their lovers or their lover and you know I was like okay so let me just tell you this it is okay for you to have hair down there don't allow yourself to feel less than a woman or to just feel like an unkept woman because you have hair on your vagina just put it out there okay so I'm just telling you that if you want to get a nice clean cut down there even with hair it's, it's still clean baby just wash up and take care of it if you want a nice clean ball or look down there or you just want to put little designs or something up in that thing or, or on that on that coochie cake I got you I got you so first things first what you want to do is take a bath Take a bath, take a nice warm shower, and let that hair down there just get softened. It's the best way to go into your service that you're going to do upon yourself as far as getting it nice and shaved up. Um, it could be, you know, if you like the little designs, whatever. You know, you want a little pappy trail down now, whatever, whatever you want. Just, just take a bath, take a bath. I'll take a shower okay so once we get that hair because it is really coarse down there that hair is the coarsest hair on your body I don't care what it is you know if you're not getting no laser treatments it is coarse um, so first things first again take a bath second thing after you get out the bathtub you want to pat it dry pat it dry take your time you know and you don't already bathe it and clean it up so use your vaginal wash or whatever you use of choice down there water have you clean do all of that get out pat it a little dry you don't want no water running all down your stomach running all down your thighs so you got that next you are not going to grab a manual razor to shave your vagina one more time you don't need no manual razor to shave your vagina because what a manual razor does is that even the best of the best it gives you razor bumps it gives you razor bumps and then on top of you getting the razor bumps you could get discoloration down there and even razor burns because everybody don't shave the right way and everybody you know don't have the same type of health down there you know we all got different types of bushes if we get a blood get a bush down there your bush might be thicker than my bush my bush might be a little thicker than your bush your bush might be a little sparser than my bush whatever the case may be so it takes a little time to get used to seeing hair down there and being comfortable with the hair down there that you get so like I said the razor could do more harm than good I'm really not an advocate for shaving down there with a manual razor instead I like to use she ain't coming out. Okay, I like to use my electric razor. I purchased this one from Walmart. It will be linked in the description box below. So get you a get you an electric razor, electric shaver. That's this is what you need because whenever you want to get all the way down there and trim that bikini line, this ain't gonna give you no issues compared to this. Because after you would use a manual razor, you would have to tone and, you know, make sure the pores are not going to be, you know, all wide open. For this, you can shave, tone if you want to, and still moisturize your body without the next day having a razor burn or having itchiness down there. Because the hair going to grow back buku quick. You know, regardless of who you is and what you do for a living, baby. You know, or who you have down there being served. You know, or who comes down there to service you. You know, in your honey pot. So, it's all on how you take care of it down there. Take your man, take your electric razor and hit the sides gently. Hit the sides gently with this point. Hit the other side gently. Then you're just going to go on back up. So, you're going to be doing a downward motion. On your uh, bikini line, upward motion, downward, and then upward motion. And then when you want to shave the real vaginal area, when you want to shave your vagina, get you some scissors. You're going to need some scissors. 
if especially if it got a little woofy. So you're gonna get your scissors and you're gonna trim her. Trim her good, trim her all up in the lips. Because this, you don't wanna go too into the lips. So you don't wanna get it too too bushy down there because you might be a little scared to hit it with the electric shaver down there. So, you know, between them lips. So when you get up on the vaginal area, you get on the vagina, it's gonna be the same motion. But see, since it has the nice little smooth razor shave, you're just gonna be hitting it. Whoosh. Whoosh, and it's gonna knock that head down. And it's gonna knock it down with ease because you done took a bath before you done went down there to, to clean it up. You ain't got no orders, you ain't got to worry about nothing. And once you have your vagina properly shaved with an electric razor, baby, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Straight game changer. Coochie can't go ahead, you feeling like, yay, yay. So they have different electric razors. They got the small ones. I could put a picture of the other one I have. I didn't want to intimidate anybody. So I won't come on here with too many. So, you know, they have different ones. So you could really be able to get up into the lips and make sure you don't, don't, don't. Take your time. Take your time. Cock a leg up and do it. You know, and do it like that. Cock a leg up. If you got to be over the toilet, cock that leg on up and shave that thing right. If you like to shave in the shower, then do just that. But I'm just, it comes down to the anal area. You gonna do the little Betty Boop, little squat. Do the little Betty Boop squat. You know, you gonna be in a little kind of like a, a slight squat position. You ain't gotta put your hands on your, on your kneecaps now. But you gonna get in a little Betty Boop squat and you gonna take almost a three, you need a three layered razor. And you're going to hold one booty cheek open, hold one booty cheek open, and start at the top of your start at the top of the crack, and come all the way down. And you're gonna go like that. You're gonna be making a C motion up and up, and you want to get as close to your anal as possible to get all that hair out because it holds bacteria back there too. And y'all know that. That's why you have to wash it out really well. You know. And so you're gonna get the other little booty cheek. You know, left cheek, right cheek. Go into a C motion. Go into a C motion. Now you can get this is you know this is the time after you done finish shaving. If you want to get back on into the shower and do this, I suggest that you shave your booty. You know, in inside, inside anal area. I suggest that you shave this in the shower and you also use a vaginal wash because it's gonna give you a lot of slip. You know, give you a lot of slips, so whenever you are going back there to shave, holding one cheek open, and you're going to shave, shave on the opposite cheek, hold the other cheek open, shave on the opposite cheek, or you can hold the cheek open and shave up and up. Either way it go, you have to take your time and you have to be careful and use a vaginal wash of choice so you can have a little suds back there and a little bit more glide with your razor so you don't cut inside of it because you don't want to cut inside your booty cheeks and be bleeding it's not cute and don't do this while you're on your period do this before your period come because you will feel really good it's gonna be nice and airy we don't need no hairy booty holes no hairy booty holes before that time of the month it's a bad look it's a bad feel and you don't need that you don't need that in your life so I'm here to get you right, baby. And then once you finish, you know, wash it on out and make sure that you go all the way up. Like I told y'all, start from the beginning of the booty cheek and come all the way down into a C motion. Start all the way at the top of the ass, uh, of the ass crack and go it all the way down like that. And you can even go all the way into the lips of the vagina just to get, you know, a good little shave underneath there with a three to a four layer razor whatever brand you want but just make sure you're using a vaginal wash to give you a little glide and this will not give you razor burns in your vagina and make sure you're using a clean razor clean razor and whenever you are finished with using your electric razor use your isopropyl alcohol you're gonna need some of this and you're going to take it off because this just take two triple two triple a batteries so you're just gonna take it, run it under the water, clean it off really well. You can use a little soap on it, clean it off really well, and then you're going to take your alcohol and you're going to sanitize it. And you can even let it sit in some alcohol for 30 seconds to a minute. And that will clean your razor and you will have a brand new 
you know, a fresh start for the next time you choose to shave. Because David, it, he'll probably, if you shave on Monday, it'll probably be back by Monday afternoon. But it's okay. It's okay. You just follow my tips. Follow my tricks. I promise you. When you get an electric razor in your life and you shave within your booty hole, you gonna be on point. Oh baby, you gonna be on point. You, you gonna be on point, girl. I mean, boo, my man, whatever. You gonna be on point. Just shave it. I'm telling you, changes the game. What's it be? What's the clean? What's the what's the clean? What's the what's the clean? You know, cause ain't nothing worse than whenever you go take a donk and you got hair. You you go to wipe after you took a dump and you got hair back there and the hair all on the toilet paper. Oh my god, that's that drag. That's that drag. You don't like that? I don't like that. Uh, no, no. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them in the comment box below. I hope that this video was insightful. I hope that this video did help somebody. Right now it's quarantine time, so I know a lot of women need a little help down there on the vagina. And getting that vagina, you know, presentable, a little bit more neater. So if you want that bikini line neat, Use your electric razor, and if you just want to keep it, you know, keep your little hair on, on the veg, girl, you don't got to use it on now. You know, if you want to just trim it down a little bit, trim it down. Trim it down a little bit. Go ahead on about your business. Just make sure it's clean, and your lover loves it, and you love it more than them. So, I'm about to hit now. Bye.